What if I told you that some of the best bodybuilders were able to build big legs, big quads without doing any kind of barbell squats. When I was a teenager, I thought the only way to get big legs was squatting. Arnold did them, Ronnie Coleman did them, Tom Platz did them, of course, Shreddy did them. It did help me grow my legs. What else would you say if I told you that when I ditched traditional squats, my legs freaking blew up? Pretty vascular, dick skin, all over the shop. I went from Super Saiyan, all the way to Ascendant to Super Saiyan 2. And if you call them BS, believe me, when I stopped squatting, my legs grew. So in today's video, I'm gonna dive deeper than going ass to grass into the secrets of how legendary bodybuilders like Dorian Yates were able to grow freaky legs without barbell squatting and how I personally have developed my legs, got freaky quads, when I stopped doing traditional barbell squats. Now then, for those new to the channel, I'm Shreddy. I'm a competitive bodybuilder, a pro wrestler, and a pretty jack stack nerd, as you can tell. For those who are regular watchers, hello there. These were my legs at around the age of 19, 20 years old, after a couple of years of training like a power builder. I didn't commit fully to bodybuilding when I first got into training. I wanted to be bigger, I wanted to be stronger, and I was still in that mindset of if I didn't squat, deadlift and bench press, I was a pussy. And these were my legs on my second year of competing after I completely ditched the barbell squat. Now this went against everything that I'd ever heard or read about leg training. Bodybuilding.com, flex magazines. So you know that the material I was reading was quality. But the reason that I dropped barbell squats from my leg workouts was because I changed gyms. I started training under Eddie Elwood, who is a IFBB pro bodybuilder. He has won the Mystic Universe more times than Arnold Schwarzenegger. I started training under him. He told me to stop barbell squatting. So Shreddy did as he was told. He stopped squatting. And what would you know? His legs blew up. He gave me the workout to follow, which I'm going to go over in this video. And by the second year I was competing, not only were my quads way bigger, they looked way better on stage and let me know down in the comments below do you love squats or do you hate squats comment down below let me know the more i got into bodybuilding training into competitive bodybuilding the more i realized some of the top bodybuilders in the world didn't actually do free bar squats as part of their leg workouts this is something that eddie introduced me to and then through more research i figured out it was quite the common thing in bodybuilding why don't these top bodybuilders squat and how can you grow big legs if you're not squatting shreddy's going to tell you from personal experience i ain't just some skinny ass influencer writing a blog post i've actually done the shit if you're an athlete if you play some kind of sport if bodybuilding isn't your primary focus by all means squat if you're a power lifter and you want to squat heavy ass weight squat but when it comes to bodybuilding there are much better choices believe me than a free bar squat so what are the problems with squats when you're squatting the load is distributed across a number of different muscle groups not just your quads you are going to be using stabilizing muscles you're going to be working on your balance you're going to be engaging your core you're going to be working on your hamstrings on your glutes you're going to be working on the hip flexors now this is great for overall lower body strength and great for athletic performance but for pure quad growth for bodybuilding purposes this isn't the most optimal way to go. Now, for me personally, looking to just grow the muscle, looking for those bodybuilding gains, I don't want to be worrying about having to stabilize a bar, maintaining my balance, pushing my ass out. I want to just do an exercise and feel like the muscle is coming after I finish that set. Another reason why squats are probably not the most optimal exercise purely for a bodybuilding purposes is because the amount of strain that squats put on your body will absolutely wipe you out if you've ever gone balls to the wall ass to grass or whatever other generic hardcore bodybuilding term you want to use here in the trenches going to war killing it all we're doing here is bodybuilding we're not out in the trenches we're not going to war we're not hunting down adolf hitler we're bodybuilding a hard intense leg session with any kind of free bar squat won't just tire your legs it's going to fry your entire body it's going to zap the central nervous system and it's going to take you days to feel okay again which could impact on other muscle groups that you're training if you can't train optimally you're not going to make the gains that you want 
Barbell squats can make your legs grow. I did use them to make my legs grow. What I'm saying is I have had more effective quad developments when I stopped doing barbell squats and did other exercises. What are those exercises? I'm about to run over them right now. So how can we grow our quads without barbell squats? Leg presses, leg extensions, lunges, but the absolute best exercises, in my humble opinion, would be hack squats and sissy squats. Both is squat variation, but both utilizing a machine which isolates the quads, which targets the quads way more than a barbell squat ever could. How can we incorporate these exercises into a workout that's actually effective and that actually works? I stopped doing legs once a week. I started training them twice a week, once with a heavy leg workout, the second with a pumping workout. On the heavy day, start with lying hamstring curls, move on to standing hamstring curls, finish up with stiff-legged barbell deadlifts. I would do four sets of each, the first set kind of a work and warm up, followed by three working sets of each. Moving on to quads, two exercises is all it would take to blast quads on this heavy workout. Starting off with leg press for 15, 12, 10, 8, 6. So kind of pyramiding down in the weight as we go, lowering those reps. The first one or two sets, again, work and warm up style sets, followed by three intense sets with that last set being absolute failure, okay? Train with somebody, get somebody to spot you, get somebody to force rep you. That last set needs to be absolute failure. Then I'd move on to a hack squat for four sets, aiming for anywhere between that eight to 12 rep range. Some weeks it might drop as low as six, but I would always try and keep eight reps as a minimum on a kind of usual basis, that's it. Some weeks, usually during contest prep, if I wanted to just do a little bit extra, I would maybe, maybe add in a couple of leg extensions, almost as a cool down, just to finish the leg workout off. But usually it was just two exercises, leg press, hack squats. Then workout two, pumping legs. This again would start with hamstrings. We would do a lying hamstring curl, supersetted with a standing hamstring curl, five sets between 12 and 15 reps. We then move on to quads. On the pumping day, what we're gonna do is a sissy squat machine, four sets, 12 to 15 reps, supersetted with a leg extension for 12 to 15 reps. And that's it. Those four sets though, would be an absolute bastard of a workout. On paper, four sets of sissy squats with leg extensions looks like such a shit workout. When you train intensely, you do not need to do anything after that pump and leg workout. You need a spotter, you need someone to force rep you. By the time you get to that 15th rep or that 12th rep, you are absolutely wiped out. Now, the way that I do sissy squats is might be a little bit different to the way that you do them. If you want to see a detailed breakdown of how I do sissy squats, and again, this is nothing I've invented, this is something that Eddie Elwood taught me. If you want to see a detailed breakdown on that, let me know down in the comments below and I can make that video. This entire workout can take 25, maybe 30 minutes. It's not a long workout, but if you train properly, you don't need to be in the gym for ages. So why should you give this a try? Well, you can either continue making no gains following the workout that you currently do, doing your heavy back squats, doing your front squats, or you can give this workout a try that has 100% worked for me, allowed me to completely transform my lower body and see if it works. Because if what you are doing now isn't giving you the results that you want, you're not going to be losing anything by trying out something different. And remember that no workout program will get you the results that you want unless you are eating right and dieting right to help you get those results. If you want to grow and put size on, you need to be eating in a surplus and fueling your body with enough nutrients to allow that muscle growth to happen. When I was a teenager, I was skinny, so watch this video here to find out some of the top foods that I incorporated into my diet to easily allow me to bulk up. And subscribe to always be ready to watch Shreddy.